Hi, this is Adam from Ads Productions, and this is the review of the D-Link XO AX1800 Mesh Wi-Fi 6 Range Extender. Now, I'm going to be straightforward with you. This plugs into your wall and allows you to connect to your Wi-Fi or wired connection and it basically wirelessly extends it around your house. That's basically all there is to it. So let's go ahead and take it out of the box and see what we've got here. When you first open the box you'll find that there is a piece of card with the QR code on it. There's not much included within the box, you just get the device itself, some documentation, as well as the QR code, which allows for the connectivity to the network. You do have a gigabit port on the side, and this is compatible with the D-Link Wi-Fi mesh. The overall design then, so we have a device here that's roughly the size of a larger size phone. So think the modern phones with the big screens, that's kind of the, the size of the surface of this. At the top left, you have an LED signal strength indicator. And towards the left hand side, you have a gigabit ethernet port. And in the center at the bottom of the device, you have a status indicator LED. Basically, it will go orange if it's during the setup, and it will go green if you set it up correctly. You have dual band Wi-Fi with up to four simultaneous streams. It supports 802.11 kV mesh roaming. It's got a gigabit ethernet LAN port. It does support WPA3 encryption. And obviously, as you'll see, it's a very compact wall plug design. Simple, take it out of the box, plug it into your outlet, open the app on your phone, that's the D-Link Wi-Fi app, scan the QR code, connect it to your network, press the mode you want to select, i.e. wireless or wired, in my case wired. It will then take you through a wizard to connect it to your current network, and that's basically it. Now, I have to stress, just because it's got D-Link all over the box, and it references other D-Link products, and it says D-Link World and D-Link Universe, this and that. You don't actually have to use this with a D-Link router or router. You can use any Wi-Fi router or router. And to be honest, I find that quite cool because it's, it makes it very accessible to the end user who doesn't necessarily want to be in that D-Link ecosystem. They want to use their cheaper Wi-Fi router or router and just add this accessory into their network. And that's fine too. It works extremely well. The application itself is the D-Link Wi-Fi app, and it is a standalone app, not part of the My D-Link Hub app that you've seen in a previous video of mine where it connects devices together. This is its own standalone one that allows you to control this adapter how you choose. The interface is very clean, there aren't many options, but it also means that you don't have many areas to overcomplicate things. You can change the name of the device, the connection that's configured for it. You can also change whether or not you see the LED status on or off. There's also various buttons for things like update and check on the overall status of the network. It just feels very intuitive. It doesn't feel like you even have to think about it. Almost to the point where I don't even have to tell you what's in this app. You just open it and you'll be able to figure out where you go next. Whether it's checking the network, whether it's do I want the LEDs appearing or not? And do I want to name it this and that? It's quite straightforward and doesn't need to be too complicated, and it really isn't. You can also install multiple devices on here. Say if you bought a couple of them, you just click on the install new device, and then you enroll it the same way with the QR code. So you might find yourself asking, why would I even need one of these anyway? Well, basically this is meant for those people that want to extend from room A, where the router is, into room C, but you don't want to lay down cables and you don't want to get one of those devices that can basically use your electronic circuitry within your house to send through the ethernet data. This is a perfect solution because it basically means you take the device out of the box, you plug it into room C, you then make sure it's within range of your original network hardware, so the router that's emitting the wireless frequency, you then connect the two. You then basically got the wireless connection between room A, where the router is, 
and room C where you want it to be. After that, you can basically walk from room A to C and you have Wi-Fi based on these two devices so long as your SSID is the same, which is the protocol that allows your device to pick up and use the network, providing you have the same name. If you don't have a device that uses Wi-Fi, but you still want to extend the connection into the other room, that's where the Ethernet or Ethernet port comes in. You have your extended Wi-Fi using the adapter and the router in the other room. You've got the connection set up. Simply just plug the cable into the device and then into one of your devices that you need over Ethernet. And then it's like you've ran a big cable through your house and coming out of the device and into your device. It makes life a hell of a lot easier. And to be honest, I was actually quite surprised how easy it was to use this. You literally take it out of the box, configure it with a simple app called D-Link Wi-Fi. You connect it to your current network. As long as it's got power, it will configure itself and that's it. Just plug it in wherever you want to use it, obviously within range of the router or router. And that's really all there is to the device. Now, normally a device as basic as this, I would probably say things like, oh, I wish that it had feature A or feature B and why couldn't we have this? But for this case, I think it does exactly what it needs to do with no frills and it doesn't need any it's perfect the way it is the only criticism I can really think of when it comes to this is when you plug it in the top of the device covers up the switch to the power outlet slightly which basically means you just have to slightly adjust the device that's plugged into the power outlet kind of drag it out a little bit turn on or off the switch and then place it back in the outlet it's a bit annoying but most of the time you're going to do it once, you're going to connect it and you're going to turn it on and you're going to forget about it because that's what you normally do with network equipment. You don't constantly turn it off and on, you just let it run. And obviously I'm based in New Zealand, so this could change depending on where you are in the world. US, UK, the rest of Europe, anywhere. It's going to change. You're going to probably have a different experience when it comes to the power outlets, but I just thought I'd let you know that point. In terms of performance, I'm only using a measly 100 megabits per second down. However, this can exceed that drastically. I'll leave a link in the description so you can see what to expect in terms of performance based on the hardware that you have. In terms of coverage, you should expect to get roughly 185 square meters of extended coverage. Plenty for the average Joe out there who wants to just extend their network beyond what they currently have. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Adam from Ads Productions with an overview of the D-Link Wi-Fi extender.